Hi, this is Alan from Florence Darlington Technical College in the Respiratory Care Program. Um, today I am going to show you how to calibrate the uh, microloop by CareFusion. Um, we will be using a 3 liter calibrated syringe and a laptop and a hard docked portable spirometer. And I will go through the steps and show you how to calibrate using the ATS ERS guidelines in which we're doing it at um, calibrating at three different flow rates. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the screen, our laptop, open it up, and we will highlight and put our cursor over where it says spirometry PC software. We'll double click on that and we will wait for the program to open up. You'll see in front of me right here is we have a three liter calibrated syringe. It is uh, already been equilibrated to the room temperature. It's been in the room for almost two hours, but we need to make sure for at least um, 15 to 20 minutes in the room with the plunger being pulled in and out so that we get room air entrained in. Okay, when we get to the main screen and we open up the program, you will notice that we have uh, some choices, add new patient, search patient, and then verify calibration. Well, we're going to select verify calibration. And then at the very bottom of the screen, you will know it says verify calibration. So we'll click on that. When I verify cal calibration, you will notice that a screen pops up. And the first thing I have here is username. My name is already entered in here. You would place your name in there. Mine is Alan Dunphy. I am using a three liter syringe. For what we're using, um, we're using the three liter syringe, but there are other uh, types of syringes that are available. Whatever your lab is using, that's what you would put in there so that we are using an accurate volume. We just have to make sure that it is a uh, medically sound and approved uh, calibration syringe for doing these procedures. You will notice that we're using the Microloop unit name. It's a USB port and it has a device serial number. This device is a uh, turbine type flow sensor which according to the company does not require calibration but according to ATS guidelines it is required at least once a day. You will notice here that we have a pink band. This is a the low flow band and that is between 0 liters per second to 0.9 liters per second. I will pull the syringe all the way out after I hit start test and it says here to please connect the syringe to the device with the plunger pulled out using the minimum number of adapters. Over here you'll notice I have taken the flow sensor which is the turbine which you can see here. I've used our multi-purpose um, adapter and it's hooked up to our three liter syringe in which the plunger has been pulled completely out. At this point I would select OK, and now I need to perform the test. And I will start now. OK, it is analyzing, and what it's noticing here is that I have passed the first expiratory and inspiratory. I will have to repeat this three times on the low band. So I will do it three times in this pink band, both expiratory and inspiratory, and they all have to be within 3%, 2.9 to 3.1. 